Hi guys, welcome to class. Uh, we've got. I know usually we have a few minutes before we start, but I've also noted. I've just noticed Wedgie. Yeah. So, um, are you joining us? Can you can you write yes or yes or no? Yeah. It'll be good. To, good to see you. Hi, Anastasia. Yeah. So you messaged me in the last class, but you didn't turn up. This time, I'm not going to sing for you because I'm, I'm disappointed. Yeah. So, uh, Anastasia, you messaged me last time. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything you say this time. Okay, unless you join. Good. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, Wedgie, okay, so good to meet you. Okay, you're joining. Okay, perfect. So this is going to be a speaking class. Forgotten the topic, let me just check my notes. One second. Sorry about this. Okay, so yeah, we're going to talk about culture, I remember. Yes, yeah? so we're going to talk about um, sharing cultures and things. One minute, oh, really? One minute 25? Oh, okay. In fact, I should do something. What should I do? Okay, Anastasia, suggest something this time. Not to do with singing or jokes. Orchard, yeah, you again, okay. Are you joining us, Orchard? Maybe I should open the curtains, yes? Yeah? It's eight o'clock now in the morning. I've still got the curtains closed. I'm from England, yep, yeah, Emmanuel. I'm from the UK, from the south, but at the moment I'm living in, in Germany. I'm living in the east of Germany, but I'm originally from the UK. As you can see, this is my, my evidence, if it's good enough evidence, not, not so much. Okay, any more comments for, for people to write? Hey, how much time do you have to join? Come on, come on, come on. How much time? It's like talking to myself, yeah? So it's <laughs> okay, I'll practice. Watch listening. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any more? Yes. Ten seconds. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, oh, 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 I don't like, Anastasia, you're banned, okay? You can't come, you can't come. Okay, well, gee, you can come, that's okay, yeah? So just block, block Anastasia. Uh, is that even how, how I say your name, Anastasia? Are you, where are you from? Actually, we are too, okay, someone's here. Okay, Anastasia pa Panomareva, okay. Nice to meet you, Anastasia, finally. Nice to meet you. Uh Perfect. Where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan. Okay, great. Okay, so you're from yes. Kazakhstan. Yeah. And what time is it? Yeah, uh, sorry? It's, yeah, but uh, it's uh, 1 uh, p.m. 1 p.m., yeah, so it's not too bad, yeah? yeah? So it's, you've yeah. had time to sleep enough and things. Good. Yeah. Okay, so Evgenia, correct me, please. How do I pronounce your name? Yeah, that's right. You sure? Evgenia, Hi. okay, where, where are you from? I'm from Russia, from St. Petersburg. Great, okay. So this morning at the first class I had it was uh, full of Spanish speakers. Now it looks like we've got some Russian speakers, okay? So yeah. Anastasia, yeah. you speak Kazakh and, and Russian, I guess. Well, um, I speak so Russian. I speak Kazakh a little bit. So, okay, so Russian is, yeah, Russian is like an, an international language here. Because like Kazakhstan was a... Um, part of USSR before and here many people speak Russian. Okay, yeah, because... So things. I'm Russian, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any more Russian speakers? So Emmanuel, this doesn't sound like a Russian name and I think we spoke earlier. Is that true? Emmanuel, have we spoken before? Emmanuel, can't hear me, yeah? So, okay. So, or I can't hear him at least. Mira, okay, Mira, hello again, hello again. <laughs> I'm, hello, I'm, I'm, hello, I'm Martin. Going to, I'm going to uh, start an award, yeah, for the, the best best student. And Mira has attended the most of my classes so far, and I'm very happy about this. Uh, so you've got <laughs> to you. be in competition, guys, with her, yeah? So I don't think you can beat her, but we'll see. Uh, Waji, we acquainted yeah. ourselves through the message box, okay? Let's acquaint ourselves through speaking. Where are you from? Okay, so I'm from Pakistan. Great, okay. And what's the weather like there in Pakistan? It's uh, 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 cloudy weather. Ah, oh, cloudy. Okay, don't ruin it for me. Yeah. I have this kind of image that everyone else has better the weather than the UK. I was in the UK last week. The weather was maybe plus six, plus seven. I came back because I'm living in East Germany, minus one. Yeah, so so not not so nice. Okay, so um, uh, Yuka, Yuka, where do you come from? Hi. I'm from Japan. 
Japan. Okay, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Okay, great. Okay, so whereabouts in Japan are you from? Kanagawa. Kanagawa Prefecture. Okay, yeah. So um what's what's it like living in Japan? Hmm? Again? What's it like What's it like living in Japan? I'm going to Japan this year. So I'm going for wow. three months actually. Three months. Um, so three months. Tell me, I've never been to Japan. I can use chopsticks now, but what should I expect? What's it like in Japan? <laughs> Hashi. What is it like in Japan? Um, what is life like? Yeah? Tell me a little bit about life in Japan. How to use? Okay, so um, is Japan okay? Yeah. So what is Japan like? So how do you live in Japan? Okay, in Japan. yeah. So yeah. So I'll write the question down. So what is it like to live in Japan? For example, I've heard Japanese people are very polite. Yeah. So yes. Very polite, like this. Um, are you a very polite person? <laughs> yes. I think. So sounds, sounds good. Okay, so who else do we have? So we have uh, Dinesh. We spoke earlier, I think. Um, how are you? Hi. Dinesh, Dinesh, can you hear? Uh, okay, maybe not. Emmanuel, can you hear me now? Or can I hear you? you no? Hear okay, you. perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this is quite interesting, yeah? We've got a good mix of people from different cultures. Today's topic is going to be about culture and comparing culture. Um, so this, actually, I'm very happy that there's lots of people from different cultures. Otherwise it can get not so interesting if everyone's from the same if we're talking about culture. Okay, so um, Anastasia, tell me about your culture. I have to admit the only um, exposure I've had, and this is probably going to, uh, 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 oh, can you hear me, Emmanuel? Emmanuel and someone else, okay? So we have yeah, two Dine Dineshes. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, perfect. Can okay, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. Where are you from, Emmanuel? I'm from Costa Rica in Central America. Cool, yes, yeah, the beaches and stuff, nice. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about culture as said. Um, okay. Anastasia, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Cool. Um, I have to admit, this is probably going to annoy you. Uh, the only, the first time I heard about Kazakhstan was from a stupid film called Borat, okay? Have yeah. you seen this film and does yeah. it annoy you? Actually, I saw this film and I'm fine with that because, like, you know, uh, I don't think, like, it's, like, rude or just maybe offended, but it was uh, banded in Kazakhstan, this film, Borat, you know? I heard, yeah. And so, so I was, yeah, and I watched this illegally, so... Thanks, China, who have... <laughs> Thanks, China. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and this is the thing. So it was very, very controversial, this film, yeah? So yeah. Um, lots of people complained about this. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a bit embarrassing, yeah, sometimes, to talk with Kazakh people afterwards <laughs> and things. Like, oh, what you think we all live with chickens? What is this, you know? Um, but, and, yeah, so... How did people react? So in Kazakhstan? Well, actually, like local, I mean, people like Kazakh, who is national as Kazakh, they even uh, didn't see this movie and they just really, really uh, have a bad attitude to this. But I'm fine with that. Uh, and I think it's just more about America, you know, just making fun of America than the Kazakhstan. Uh, yes, so, so. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm just flexible about that. Uh, well, uh, that's it, what I want to say. So, uh, between America and Britain, I think there's lots of jokes, yeah, because um, America's yeah. the, big, the big country, we're the small country, so uh -huh. maybe we like to make jokes, yeah? I'm not saying me, I'm saying yeah. um, comedians like to make jokes because uh -huh. it's the powerful country, yeah? So people yeah. always like to attack the power um, yeah. in some mm -hmm. way with humor, I guess, yeah? yeah. Um, so that's quite interesting. Um, and who else Sasha, from Russia? Yeah, yeah, and Sasha. Sasha Baron Cohen is a very funny actor. I like him. <laughs> so he did uh, some, he, he, Bruno Sa and... No, he, he was playing Borat. Yeah, so he pl he's played a couple of characters in some movies. Yes, exactly. But he's a British. Yeah, he's British. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. So it's okay. You're saying it's okay. Yeah, but so about this. Okay, so basically, yeah, it was very controversial. Did anyone else hear about this movie? So, um, we had someone from Russia, but UK. Yeah, we yeah. still have you. Did you see this uh, movie? What? What movie? Uh, a Borat. No. Okay. Does any has anyone else seen this movie or heard about it? Nope. Really? Yeah. No, no one's heard. You okay. must be kidding me. Okay, so Evgeny <laughs> has heard. Okay, so this is good, yes? So maybe the, the, the British are not going to lose their reputation completely, yeah? Make it make it. Uh, uh, guys, no one's have verbally um, website. You should close that we should not have echo. Okay, yeah. Oh, cheers for that's better, voice. yeah. Perfect, whoever did this. Okay, so who mm -hmm. else do we have, yeah? So, uh, where's the Japanese girl gone? Are you still there? Oh, no, okay. Uh, is the Japanese girl still here? Um, not sure. Oh, I was disappointed. I wanted to. We could compare, yeah, things like this. Okay, so did anyone else hear? hear yeah. So um, about this movie, Emmanuel, did you hear about Borat? I never. I I, I have never uh, hear about this movie. Guys, don't watch it, yeah. Don't, uh, is it, okay. Don't. Maybe it's not the best example. Uh, but okay. So this. Okay. Let, let's talk about this. How are your countries perceived in other countries? So, um, Anastasia, from yeah. Borat, people think that everyone lives with chickens. Now it's not so, yeah? So, there was a big PR campaign about Kazakhstan, and they were uh -huh. showing the capital city, and they were showing that it's a very um, oil-rich country, and actually, tourism, British people are now starting to go to Kazakhstan because of yeah. skiing and things like this. Yeah. So, what do you think of this? Has, thing, has Borat, for example, could be good because now before maybe we didn't think of Kazakhstan so much as the first place yeah. now we're interested now we're interested yeah so I think it's good like you know it's with like sarcastic humor and even the whole world know where is Kazakhstan now just um, just many Americans know where is Kazakhstan just or just maybe do not know but they have uh, know that uh, such as country exists you know before they maybe do not know uh, but yeah, I think it attracts many um, tourists as well. That's interesting. But I think here in Kazakhstan we don't do not have a good service. <laughs> That's why uh, okay. it's not good for tourists. But still, we have a good nature. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I've, I've seen great mountains. Of yeah, great mountains. You know, it looks very okay. very nice and stuff. Okay. Okay. You can say it put Kazakhstan on the map. That means it made uh -huh. Kazakhstan famous. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, if a celebrity comes from your hometown, this will uh -huh. put your hometown on the map. Yeah, it just means people are uh -huh. aware of it as a, as a result. Okay, so uh, who else has joined us? Uh, no one. Okay, so uh, how is your country represented, Dinesh? Yeah, so, um, and also tell me about my country as well. Stereotypes. There's lots of. British stereotypes. We drink tea and we do this and things like. That. In fact, let's talk about this first, okay? So Anastasia, we'll, we'll go with you and then we'll go left. Um, still, okay. um, mm -hmm. British stereotypes. Have you got any stereotypes of British people or of England? You can be yeah. rude, yeah. You can you can say the not so friendly ones if you like. I've heard. <laughs> well, it's actually like you know, snobs. Like um, British, I like snob. Yeah. Snobs. Okay. Snobs. Okay. Okay, yeah, so snobs. Um, yeah, okay, true, I've heard true. about this one, yeah. Not everyone, so, not everyone. Uh, it depends on the people, but there are lots of snobby people in the UK, it's uh -huh. particularly from the villages, yeah, so uh, from, the, from the countryside. Yeah, uh -huh. so. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, they, I they, 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 yep. Yeah, I just want to add, like, everywhere. Like everywhere, you know, in Russia there are villages, in Kazakhstan villages, people are just maybe get arrogant, you know. But I would say in the UK there is a kind of culture, a snobbish culture in some mm -hmm. areas. So, for example, I was uh, brought up in the countryside and mm -hmm. I um, went to events because my mum would make me, make me go to events at like... Um, a luncheon, yeah? So you'd have to have lunch with the people from the village. Or you'd have to, uh, I don't know, there was a lot of tennis, lots of uh, polo and things like that, yeah? People mm -hmm. people play. So there is this kind of, and I would say maybe it's, it's true. Um, what about other stereotypes? Dinesh, have you heard of um, stereotypes in the UK? So about British people 
about the UK. So someone said tea time. Rod said tea time. We've spoken before. Um, what stereotypes are you aware of? Have you heard about uh, British people? Maybe compared with Americans. So Dinesh, what do you say? Okay, let's move on to Emmanuel. Um, have you heard any stereotypes? Okay, I have. Um, um, the British people are very kind um, in the movies. Um, 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 I I the the best movie of uh, the the best movie of 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 British I think is um, the life is beautiful or okay yeah so the the life, life is, is beautiful. beautiful I think it's something like that I can't remember yes, the name but I've, I've seen this okay so very you say very kind yes it's also, a beautiful it's a beautiful movie I like it okay and how would you say uh, compare this maybe with your country. So, stereotype. A snob, okay? So, uh, Waji asked what a snob is, okay? Uh, can someone explain? Does anyone else know this word? Uh, uh, Yuka, do you know this word? Which word? Uh, snob, snob. Snobs, I don't know. Okay, uh, what about Evgenia? Do you know this word, snob? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> what does it mean? I think it means that people not very, they're polite, but not very, I don't know, like to speak with people, like to talk with them, just try to stay close a little bit. Yeah, Anastasia put a perfect definition in the chat box. Basically, I would define it as something like um, this, yeah? High nose. Yeah. I, I agree with this. The definition. Queen of England, the Queen of England is a lovely woman, very funny. Um, if you see personal videos, but she could be seen as not. No, she's not a snob because she has reason to be. Yeah, but someone who acted like the Queen of England, who mm -hmm. wasn't the Queen of England, would be a snob. Yeah. So um, <laughs> if they they walked around like the Queen. They went around, yeah, like that. That would be snobbish, yeah, because they're they're not really the Queen of England. Um, but yeah, okay. So, um, and what would you say, Emmanuel? So compare. You said the British people are, are kind. Of course, it depends. There are lots of, I would say, a bad word, but I'm not going to say there are lots of bad people as well. Um, but what? How does this compare with your country? How are people in your country, Emmanuel? Okay, um, the people in. Um in in my country, um, um, they they are kind, but um, but I think that the people in 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 UK is is more like uh, they 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 like study study more than my country. They they are more more they they like st uh, they like uh, more study than the people who lives in my country. I think like so. Like to study, yeah? Sure. So, um, and, okay, and, um, it's quite interesting. Yes. Okay, so people like to study. Okay, um, Anastasia put stuck up. Does everyone understand what this means? Stuck up. To be stuck up is a phrasal verb. Yay. Okay, we say this as well, st stuck up in the UK. Oh, you really? Okay. You just say this for girls, right? Not for boys. Mm, no, you can say it for both. Because, uh, like, uh, really I was... Up. Yeah, because I said like for guys you just say cocky. Uh, it's more of a guyish thing to say, but you can say he's a bit stuck up. Um, okay. The, the kind of guy who um, is very maybe from really rich rich family and is a uh -huh. bit you know a bit like that. Um, mm -hmm. Stuck up, you can say yeah. So stuck up mm -hmm. means something like that. Yes, yeah? so it's not. Uh, Emmanuel. So uh, Elias asked where you are from. Yeah. So where are you from? For for Elias, yes, so I'm from Costa Rica. Message box. Costa Rica, yeah. Did you hear? Okay, Elias? cool. Okay, so uh, anyone else from a similar country to Costa Rica? No, I don't think so. Um, Mira, how is it um, in your country? What is what are the stereotypes maybe of British people, if you have any? And also, how do you think um, Egypt is perceived abroad in different countries? Um, we have an idea uh, in British people as uh, they. Um, uh, 
they so accurate and um, uh, gentlemen in to deal with other apart from with football yeah so if you go to a football game <laughs> this whole stereotype goes away yeah British are not when they go abroad for football matches they're not gentlemanly <laughs> but um, yeah I, I guess yeah, it depends and if you go to a pub people are usually very talkative people are usually quite quite calm and how do you think then Mira Egypt is perceived what do you think the stereotypes abroad are of Egypt I can't think of many uh, very good nego uh, very good negotiators yes yeah? so this is a stereotype um, we have of Egyptians and the Arab people, they're very good at negotiating. So you have this kind of haggling culture, yeah? So um, I, I, I found this quite unusual but quite interesting when I went, went to Egypt. Um, they would say a price and they would say, I don't know, 10 Egyptian pounds. And then you should say something like 5 Egyptian pounds. And then they say 8 Egyptian pounds. And then you say so, And you do this kind of process. Is it true? Does everyone do this, Amira, in your country? Haggling. To haggle, yep, yeah, Anastasia. Not for not for all, not for all. Ken, what situations would you haggle? Mm. Haggle, haggle. Uh, excuse me. What does it mean? Negotiate. So haggle is negotiate. Uh, they say mm -hmm. ten Egyptian pounds, and you say five Egyptian pounds. They say the seller says. Nine Egyptian pounds, and then you agree on a price, yeah, that's cheaper than he said, but more expensive than you originally said. This is uh, uh, in some uh, to to uh, when uh, I bought uh, vegetable or fruit or something like this. Not for all. Uh, um, the, uh, okay, so not. You wouldn't go into the supermarket in, I don't know, Carrefour or uh, some Western brand and say to the sales, sales uh, lady, um, uh, bananas, I'll give you 10 cents. Okay, so it's not no, that. No, no, no. So, uh, in yeah. supermarket, it is an uh, accurate uh, price. But okay, uh, when you, uh, when you uh, buy it from the street, uh, you know, people who uh, um, uh, sit down on the street and buy the vegetable and fruit or something like this. So it's, yeah, and it can work in the UK, but maybe we're not good at it, and that's the thing. So um, after I came back to I can haggle with them, but in supermarket, I can't haggle anymore. No. Okay. Um, and the thing is, I tried this in the UK market, and it worked, but we're maybe not so confident to do this. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, so maybe a bit shy about asking for a cheaper price. It depends on the person. Yeah, so of course, yes. I'm not saying everyone's the same, but maybe we're a bit too shy to get, can we have a discount? But from what I saw, everyone's got confidence, yeah? I'll take this for, and it works, you do get a better price, I guess, yeah? Yes. So it works, but only in the markets. Okay, that's quite interesting. Okay, so what other, what do you think of, yeah? So I'd say, this is about haggling, I'd say this is stereotype we have of Arabic countries, they're good at this, even uh, Turkey and things like that, that's not an Arab country, I know. Uh, but what is, um, do you think people think of when they think of Egypt? Maybe not about the people, but about the country. Right. Pyramids. Any, yeah, anyway, in Egypt, we, you asked me or, or or other. Yeah, yeah, Mira. Yep. Uh, um, we are Egyptian. Look like uh, funny, kindly, uh, friendly. Um, love fun so much in any time, fun even loving, if fun you loving. said fun loving. Fun loving, yeah. So they they like mm -hmm. to laugh. They they like to have fun and stuff. Okay, so it's, it's, even it's, if you said we laugh. Okay, yes. <laughs> I just Oops. heard the door. Okay, so um, not all Russians drink vodka. Yeah, let's come back to that in a minute. Waji, okay. So, um, yeah. what are your stereotypes of maybe don't say British people now of maybe other nationalities of people in this group? So, for example, so. Your stereotypes of Russians, your stereotypes of people from Costa Rica and things like that, yeah? So compare. For example, let's start with Russian, yeah? Anastasia brought up the topic of vodka. This is a very <laughs> famous one, okay? All Russians, according to the stereotype, drink vodka, play with bears, and live in the forest in Siberia. <laughs> yeah? It um, makes me fun a lot. <laughs> okay. I laugh a lot. <laughs> Wedgie, okay? So have you got any stereotypes of Russian people? Or Russia? No. no. Okay. What about in your country? How do you think um, people will think of your country? 
abroad. Yeah, well, uh, our country, the people of our country live together. Uh, uh, the, there is Islamic uh, region. Yeah. Because we to, uh, we we believe to uh, we believe to go Allah. Yeah. And uh, I uh, we live together and. Uh, so you have a community culture, yeah? So yeah. Uh, the family is important. This is a thing I wanted to bring up, yeah? Because um, maybe in the, the family is, of, of course, important, yeah? Really, really important. But I've noticed from speaking with people that um, in some cultures, family is very, very crucial, yeah? So family is really, 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 really important. So how important is family to you, Waji, yeah? So tell me about this. Mm, yeah. Family, we live together. Yeah, yeah. We live together and uh, uh, contribute to our part. So each have your own role, and you contribute this in some way. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Mum does the cooking, boy does the whatever. Yeah. So it's it's quite, quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, of course. Yuka, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What are your stereotypes? Do you understand? Sorry, does everyone understand stereotypes? Yes. Okay. What are your stereotypes of uh, other countries? Do you have any stereotypes? And also, do you have um, any? Do you know of any stereotypes about your country? My country. Yeah. So uh, stereotypes about your country or um, yeah. My country and um, Japanese people is a uh, hard worker. It's tr yeah, I've heard. Let's see. Um, so you can, I don't know if I told you my girlfriend's Japanese actually. Yeah. So um, <laughs> and so, so, it's, so it's quite quite interesting. Um, and in Japan, she said yeah. that there are ten days holiday per year. Ten days holiday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And also Japanese are polite. So um, sometimes don't take ten days off holiday. Yes, so sometimes we'll take three days off or four days off and not take ten days. Is it yeah, true? They, they work every day and sometimes and they have holiday, but it's only two or three days, not summer okay. vacation. And, and you're very clean as well. Uh, and <laughs> things. Oh, I can't. You know, the thing is, I'm I'm a very messy person. Yeah, I'm going to admit I'm not the well. I, first hygiene, I'm clean. But if you looked at my room, and I'm not going to show you, it's very very disorganised. Yeah. Come on, um, but show hygiene, us. of course. No, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think my it. webcam will break. No, no, I can't. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Okay, and Japanese are very very clean. Yeah. So, um, how is this Yuka? So, um. For example, yeah, when if I take a, a I want to take a bath, and I talked about this in the last class. So sorry if I'm repeating myself. If you if you heard, uh, but I in the UK we take a bath, and that's what we do to clean ourselves. Uh, but in Japan, my girlfriend always takes a shower and then takes a bath. Takes a shower and then a bath. Interesting. In Yuka, Yuka, is it so in I... Japan? You shower, Hi. you have a shower, then you shower. go in the bath. Then you go yes. in the bath. Yeah? First take shower and then take a bath. Why have the bath? You know, the bath is there to clean you. Why, why have the bath? <laughs> if you take the bath is quite very comfortable. comfortable. Okay. So the bath we is there to relax. Relax, relax in bath. Okay, yeah, but not to clean, not to clean. Uh, so maybe, do you find this strange? Yeah, do you, and we'll ask other people what it's like in their country. Um, Yuka, do you find this unusual that maybe British people and foreigners use the bath to clean them? So they, their dirty body goes in the bath. <laughs> Yuka, do you find this unusual? Um. In Japan, there are small space to take shower, so and bus is other space. 
Okay, so Bath is set. So on only um hot water put in the bus. So um we take a shower in small shower space. So it's yeah. not dirty, it's clean. Okay, I don't understand. Yeah, for, for me, I like, uh, yeah, so the, the thing is, I'll tell you a personal story. So um, one day, there was, um, there was no heating, yeah, so the heating ran off. I ran a bath, um, and then I wanted to, uh, well, she told me to take a shower, so I had to take a shower first, but the heating didn't work, yeah, so the hot water didn't work, um, so I had to take a really, really cold shower, and I was in the shower going, <laughs> Like that, like that, like that. It was, it was really cold, yeah. And, I, and yeah, so it's very, very interesting. Very interesting, different. Let's compare. Tarcisio, good to see you again. How are you? How are you? Really fine. Thank you for asking. You. Cool. My internet is now working. Yes. Yeah? So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's okay. Um, and Anastasia likes bubbles. Yes. Yeah? So, um, <laughs> what do you think? So I was talking with Yuka about this. When you hear this, what do you think about this? For me, it's strange. Okay, Someone uh, guys, you just have a, a echo. I guess it's Sveta. Yes, you just turn off the verbling side. Uh, Sveta. Sveta. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sveta. Can you just turn off the verbling side? Yes. We we do not have echo. No, I you am here for the first time, so I don't know how to use it. No, you can behalf. say in the Google. You you say in the Google Hangout. Just yes. turn off the verb the verbling website. Turn. Uh, I turn it off. I close the window. Uh, uh -huh. Now it sounds better. I think no, it's better. No, yeah, because we right now. Oh, okay. No, no. Um, also, do you have earphones? Yeah. So, um, if everyone wears earphones, it means that all the sound just goes into your ear and doesn't go to the microphone. Really? Can you hear you... me now? Oh, so, yeah, I can hear. You. Okay. Yeah. Usually, like it's echo if they just use like a verbling site. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully, it's okay. Okay. Now someone says it's better. Okay. So, um, yeah. What are you saying? You like a bubble bath? Um, uh, Anastasia, <laughs> what do you think? No, I just was saying bubble salt is good, but I do not take uh, a bath with bubbles, not very often. But do you go in the bath with a dirty body? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yuka, are you disgusted? Are you going... Oh, yeah? can you, can... So Yuka, we are all dirty. Why? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> I'm clean. <laughs> okay, but it's no, just interesting. Yeah, so, so this is an example of one one cultural difference. Um, okay, have you got anything? Okay, we've got some new members. Let's introduce them. Who is it? So, we've got new new Chaya. New Chaya. How do I pronounce your name? Sorry. Hello, Nataya. 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 Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Nice to meet you, Nataya. Okay, so where do you come from? Okay, there's a really bad echo, guys. There's oh. a really bad echo. Echo. Oh, okay. You can skip me and go to the next student because I don't know how to close the echo. No worries. Yeah. Can you say in Russian to Sveta? Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Sveta, слышишь меня? Да, да. Ты закрой вот этот verbling сайт. Его прям закрой. Закрыла, закрыла. Закрыла, чтобы echo не было. Yeah, yeah, the crew would have moved. Ah, that sure. Oh, no, she said like she closed, but we still have her uh, echo. I don't know why. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'll I'll try and mute some people, and we can see if it's um. See if there's uh, something coming up. Okay. So um. Wait. Okay. So. Can we? Sp can you speak now? I I'm just going to try a couple of people and see. So who is? Can we speak? Yeah. Has it gone? Has it gone? No. Okay, so it's not Ev Evgina. You are clear, yeah. You are a good person. That's okay. Okay, so Emmanuel, let's try you. Now try. Is it okay? Hello. That's yes. Yeah, that's better. Okay, it wasn't Emmanuel actually. He's not muted. Who is muted? Uh, have I muted? Okay, now it's okay. Yeah. So let let's see. Okay, so um, yeah. Any cultural difference, for example, Anastasia in Kazakhstan? 
that maybe is um, strange for foreigners <laughs> like us. Yeah. For me, it was strange to know about, like, uh, in Japan, you should, like, you know, take a shower and then take a bath, you know. But what about in Kazakhstan? Something that you do in Kazakhstan that maybe um, you could think is weird, yeah? You could think, what, you do this in Kazakhstan? So do you do um, something in Kazakhstan that's strange to us? Not really. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, maybe, you know, just Kazakh people eat horse meat. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. I don't know if you heard about this, but there was a big scandal. I'll turn the light on, actually. One second. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a big scandal. Oh, maybe it's not uh -huh. no better. Okay, so basically there was a big scandal a couple of weeks ago in the UK really? about horse meat. Yeah, so uh -huh. horse meat uh, entered some beef products um, illegally, uh -huh. and everyone was like, oh, don't eat the horses, don't eat the horses. But in other countries, uh -huh. it's normal to eat horse meat, yeah? So uh, let's compare. Yeah. Yeah, so like, uh, you know, uh, here in Kazakhstan, in my local town, uh, I had a Peace Corps volunteer, and then when they came to Kazakhstan and you know about, like, you know, Kazakh people eat horse meat, they just uh, were shocked, because, like, horse is a domestic animal, like a dog, you know? Actually, you know, Korean people, South Korean people eat dog, dog meat. Okay, let's uh, compare. Wedgie, have you heard of this? Yeah, or someone else? Uh, Sveta, Sveta, I haven't said hello to you. Nice to meet you. Are you? F I'm assuming you are from Russia. Yeah, you spoke uh, with and so it. Sveta, how are you? Uh, Sveta, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's compare. So Wedgie, okay. Um, do you eat any unusual food? Um, well, when I say unusual food, I mean. Unusual for foreigners, yes? So not, not unusual for people in your country, but maybe something that we think, what? You eat this? Uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> first, I should say that I'm not in Russia now. Uh, I live in Baku in Azerbaijan. Uh, but, but you're uh, Russian. But my nationality is it's Russian. You know, uh, here is uh, a lot of Russians in Baku, uh, but uh, we were living here for a long time, uh, so I, my native language, language is Russian, but I also know Azeri and Turkish, because they are very uh, similar to each other, Azeri and Turkish. Uh, so okay. I can tell you more about uh, culture, our culture, Azerbaijanian, and uh, that's better I speak about Azerbaijan because I live here and my childhood and my uh, all my life uh, I spent here. Okay, yeah, so you're more familiar, maybe you're more adjusted. Um, okay, so I, I think there's still an echo. So that's quite, that's quite interesting. Um, but do you eat something, Sveta? Sorry, then I'll go to Waji. Um, I was asking you as well. Um, do you eat something, well, a Russian dish or from Azerbaijan that maybe would be considered unusual uh, to uh, foreigners like us? Uh, here's a lot of tasty food uh, like kebab, like uh, uh, Is the echo coming uh, right from we... Sorry, Tassi, so you um, said the echo is from me. Yeah, I think it's coming from, from you. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. All this time I was saying, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's, uh, oh, that's better. Is it okay now? Uh, no, still echo. still echo. How about now? Still echo. How about now? Is it okay? Still echo. No. no. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, so my burbling thing is off. There's no, nothing else open. Uh, let me check. No problem, I can hear. I can hear very good. I can understand you, teacher. Yeah? So it's quite, quite, quite annoying, yeah? Is it better now, by any chance? Let's try. Yeah. Okay, oh, no. let's, let's see. Okay, so. Sorry, okay, so let, let's try it again. Okay, so is there anything, for example, in your country, Tarsicio, um, that would be considered unusual? I, I don't meet, I don't eat anything unusual. I really don't mind. Really big echo. 
Can you hear me? Yep, yep, but is the echo still there? It's still quite loud, isn't it? I think it's too far. Yeah, what is this? Okay, so, um, yeah, so okay, you were so, saying um, something here. Yeah, so you were saying something here. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Is it no. better? No. No. <laughs> Confusing, yeah, because there's no uh, Sveta. Okay, so let's. Okay, what we're going to do is mute Sveta quickly and see if it's gone. Is it still there? Has no. It gone? No. Yes. It's gone. Yes, yes, it's gone. Has yeah, gone. It has gone. It has okay, gone. so we found the problem. Sorry, guys, I thought it was me. Okay, so um, Sveta, there appears to be a little uh, echo still. Um, I've, I've unmuted you, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, it's okay. It sounds okay now, yeah. For we'll see, yes. we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, yeah, so you were saying, Thasisio. Sorry. I said that I don't eat nothing unusual. <laughs> okay, so it's it's quite quite straightforward. Um, Yuka, it was mentioned that in Korea they eat dog meat. Yeah. So who said this? Anast was it Anastasia? Yeah, I said this one. In Japan, yes. Yeah? So, um, have you heard about this, Yuka? In what? Korea, do they really eat dog? You, you're quite close dog? country to Korea. Dog. dog? In Korea, Korea. Uh, it, it's co Korea. In Japan, we we don't eat dog. Okay, you don't you don't eat dog in um, okay in Japan. But do you eat anything that maybe would be considered strange to us? Um, natto. Which is? Natto. Are you eat dolphins? Oh, I know natto is delicious. What is natto? Natto is like a nut. But I will let um, nut you can explain this. I don't know how to explain, but I've tried this once. Okay, what is it, Yuka? Can you explain? Um, natto is... Um, Wait. <laughs> um, fer ferment. Yeah. Beans. Ferment. Oh yes, yes, yes! I know this. I know this. Um, I just call it moldy beans. <laughs> what is it like? Ferment. Yeah, I've got a picture actually. I'll show you. Um, we made it, but <laughs> oh, it's. This is strange, yeah. Wait, wait. Let me try and find your picture. I can, uh, I can show you. Actually, I found in the internet. Okay. I the link with is uh, not tall. Yeah. So it's moldy beans. Basically, how do you make this? Yeah. So can you explain to us how you make this? Oh, you can. Um. Bean beans. Yep. How do you in make it? Wet, wet, wet loom. Yeah. Uh, what is a wet room? Wet room, yeah, so a, a damp wet room. room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find you a, a picture. I've got one that we made. A long time fer fermentation. Yeah, so leave it to ferment. Leave it to ferment for a while. Yes, leave, leave it. To ferment. Um, and where, why? who invented this, yeah? So who thought um, of this idea? Let's... Put some beans in a cold room and let them go moldy. Um, where, what's the history of this dish? Made of so soybeans. Okay, so it's from uh, it's made of soybeans and things. I'm trying to find you this this photo. Um, it doesn't look very okay. You've got it actually on Wikipedia, yeah. So you you can see it. Uh, but yeah, okay, that's that's quite interesting. So you eat moldy beans. What else? Japanese food is really delicious, yeah. So I think it's quite popular. Well, it's popular in London. I know that, but um, and Germany, I've seen a lot of sushi bars. Um, in your countries, guys, so, um, Emmanuel, do you see a lot of Japanese restaurants? Yes, in Costa Rica. Would you eat moldy beans? Well, natto, natto. Would you eat this? Would you like to try? Okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry, ah, uh, sorry. I forgave you. Uh, you're forgiven. That's okay. Emmanuel, we are <laughs> united in the fact that we're forgiving you, okay? So, uh, what, what, what are you apologizing for, yeah? So, you okay? 
Okay, maybe there's a technical problem. Okay, so, uh, Wudgy, okay? Yeah. Would you eat natto? No, I, did, I didn't eat natto. <laughs> but would you eat natto? If you got the opportunity, would you eat this? Does it sound delicious to you? <laughs> I take that yeah. as a no, yeah? So for a reaction, I take that as not, not so delicious. But actually, Yuka, is it delicious? Do you, do you like it? Yes. Okay, so it's quite good. Okay, like so that, okay, so that was an example from Japan of something maybe that's quite unusual. Uh, Evgenia, yeah? So something unusual that you eat in your country, in Russia. Hmm. I don't really know. Everything is usual. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I've heard, I've heard. Um, there's like a, we call it lard, fat. Yeah. So uh, there's, uh, you you make something with fat and you slice the fat up. It's pork fat or something, and you eat a block of fat. Ah, I, I don't understand. Salam. Yeah. It it's, it's yeah, it's a word in Russian for this. One usually okay. it's Ukraine uh, from Ukraine. Ukraines like also like eat to eat. Yeah. Um, and do you like this? Yeah. So does it taste good? Because for me, uh, I can't imagine just eating a block of fat. You know, does it? What does it taste of? Who do you ask? Uh, any Russian speaker. So Evgenia. <laughs> who else do we have? Uh, Anastasia can contribute. Any any Russian speaker. Does it taste good, Evgenia? Uh, well, if you just eat it with like you know alone, it's not delicious. But if you just eat with the uh, brown bread, we just call that brown bread. I don't know. Uh, with bread, it's brown bread, well, it's yeah. not... brown bread you can say, yeah. Yeah, with brown bread, it's fine. Okay. Well, yeah. it, it, well, it's not bad. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's it's okay. It, yeah, it's, it's okay. Like... Um, Thasisia, what do you think of this? Uh, in fact, let's uh, introduce the new people. We've got uh, Dinesh again and Eva. Eva, where are you from? Eva, can you hear me? Is it Eva, Eva? Okay, let's come back to you. Dinesh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Eva, make sure you are unmuted. Yeah, so if you just check your settings to make sure the camera's not um, muted and things like that. Okay, in the meantime, let's go to, uh, back to, ne oh, wait, is there anyone else that's joined? We've got Rakesh. Where are you from, Rakesh? Rakesh? Rakesh, can you hear me? Okay, uh, try your settings again, see if your mic is turned on. But Natalia, okay, Natalia, where, what about you? Yes. Yeah, so is there anything unusual in, as a, you're from Azerbaijan, yeah? You live there. Uh, no, 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 I'm from Thailand. <laughs> okay, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm from Azerbaijan. <laughs> Not from Azerbaijan, okay, from Thailand, okay. So, um, what do you eat in, okay, so you're also in Asia. Um, have you heard about eating dog in Korea? Like, kind of stuff that you eating dog in Korean? Mm, in, I'm I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not I'm not sure, but I, uh, but I'm I'm sure that I've heard about eating dog in China and also in Thailand. But I don't know if in Korean eat dog. But in your mm -hmm. country, do you eat any unusual meats or any unusual foods that maybe we all think, like for example, you could told us about the um, multi beans, the natto, and uh, Anastasia, we were talking about the fat. Um, is there anything that uh, you could eat in Thailand that we think, what? What? Really? Uh, yeah, 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 like yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot of things. Um, many kind of bugs. Ah. Bugs. Yes, yes, but bugs. No, no. Many kind of bugs. Yeah, yeah. like a worm, worm, worms, and one, I, I don't two, know three. what in English, but many kinds of bugs. One, two, three. I can hear you, um, Eva. I can hear Hi. you. Hi. Uh, four, five, six. Four, five, six. 
four, five, six, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! Yeah. Okay. I, I um, knew what, this is intermediate slash advanced. I think it's more advanced. Yeah, from all your level, I think it's advanced. Uh, we can count. So I'm glad about this. Our class is uh, completed. Let's finish. Okay. So Eva, how are you? Where are you from? I'm from Hungary. Great. And we've spoken before, haven't we? No, I'm newbie here. I'm here, here first. <laughs> okay, so yeah, how is it for you so far? Yeah, so uh, is this your first class that you've joined? Yes, first class, first video, first <laughs> all Verbling. So hopefully it's okay. I've got to say, yeah, I'm not saying that because I've worked for Verbling, but I've got to say the idea is pretty good, yeah? So um, it'd be good if they did this for other languages and things. Um, okay, so we also have Ahmed. So, Ahmed, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can. Okay, good to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. From Egypt yeah. as well, yeah. So, oh, Mira went. Mira went. Oh, that's at this point. We had another one from Egypt, um, and yeah. So we're talking about different cultures. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, uh -huh. Do you eat any weird food in Egypt? When I say weird, I know it's not weird for you, but for foreigners, it could be seen to be unusual. Unusual food. Unusual food. So I we're talking. Know. Maybe we um, we like to eat a lot of uh, stuffed food. I think uh, stuffed food. You can find it in a any other country. Yeah. Stuffed food, yeah. Like you know, eggplants. Egg, 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 egg. But but not the big one. Eggplant. Okay. Excellent. Eggplant. Wow. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. But, but not, not the big one. Not the the big one. The 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 tall and smaller one. We stuff. We we stuff it. Eggplant. Yeah. I was going to say it's aubergine. Most people say aubergine. aubergine. Yeah. So stuffed stuffed oh. aubergine. <laughs> and then I yeah. imagine egg and plant. You know, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, was thinking, face I, I didn't want to look stupid really yeah, because it was clearly an English word. I didn't want to look stupid in front of you guys. So I was like, yeah, I know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but yeah, the, aubergine. I think we would say yeah. So mm -hmm. this green green vegetable. Okay, so that's quite quite good. Um, but yeah, okay. So let's talk more new tire. Um, insects. Yeah. So question. Why? <laughs> Why? Um, I, like I I don't know the uh, the exact reason why we eat a lot of bugs or insects. But for for the middle in Thailand, we don't eat we don't eat that that bugs. I mean, it's not popular in the middle in Thailand, but in the north because people in the north have a lot of poverty poverty, so they can't find something to eat. They have to eat insects. I think that's the main reason. But like Anastasia said, the French have no excuse, yeah? So uh, I wouldn't say French people are dying of poverty, yet they still eat snails, yeah? Have you heard about this, guys? Um, Anastasia brought it up. Have you heard that in France they eat snails? Eat snails? snails. No, I've never heard about that. Okay, they, they call it, they, well, they call it a fancy name, so they call it escargot. But really, it's snails, yeah. So um, they they serve it with garlic. It's very, very for me. It's strange. I, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm nervous about trying <laughs> this, but I, I would. I, I want to try different foods. But yeah. Um, but what do you think, yeah, Anastasia? Have you ever tried this? You you brought this up in the the chat box. But have you ever tried snails, or would you try snails? A snail is. Let me share my. Uh, snail is slimy. Yeah, let me wait, wait. Let me share my screen. It's difficult to explain what a snail is, actually, isn't it? So, uh, let me share my screen. Okay, see my screen. Wait, can you see my screen? Yeah. In France, they eat this. Did you know this? Okay, so you have yes, yes, yes. Guys, like there is an echo, yes, yeah? so I don't know where it's coming from. They they serve this, they eat this. Can you see my screen guys? 
Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here, for example, it, it, this is how they serve it, yeah? So they eat snails. Okay. Have you heard about this? Honing fish. Sorry? This is his honing fish. <laughs> Think it's a fi like a fish, not quite. Yeah, it's the thing you find in the in the garden. Yeah, so it's quite odd. Okay, Yuka. Oh. You. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. What are you going to say? Okay, so Yuka, what do you think of this? We were talking about your your uh, not a spawning fish, not not anything to do with this. Um, it's just snails, things you see in the garden. So, uh, this animal, <laughs> well, this insect. This creature, whatever you call it, yeah? So can you see this? Can you see? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so th this animal. Yuka, what do yes. you think of this? Okay, so um, we were talking about Natal. Do you <laughs> think this is weird to eat snails? Um, I don't want to eat. <laughs> you don't want to eat, yeah? Japanese people love food, yeah? So it's a uh, Japanese people really, really like food, I think. Is that is that true? Yeah, um Hello. Snail? Snail. Sorry, sorry? No, not snails. Food normal food, yeah? Japanese normal. people like to cook. Like to cook. Yes. Okay. What's your best food? What's your best dish? What can uh, you cook the best? Sushi. Sushi, yeah. Does that? Yeah. So, um, and uh, we were talking earlier. Japanese popularity is, is quite. Um, yeah. Okay. Fastisio so said caviar as well. Yeah, that's true. Um. So, yeah. So Japanese people like food and things. Wow. How important is food to your country? So we have um some new guests of things. Let's check. Eva, can you hear? Yes, I can. Okay. So. What about food in Hungary? How important is food to Hungarian people? <laughs> it's very important. Uh, we are a little bit obesity. <laughs> Fat. <laughs> uh, fatty dishes. I so don't like... Uh, energy, energy. Energy, but I don't like uh, Hungarian well, dishes so too much. <laughs> Okay, so you don't like, you, you're careful about um, your weight and things like that, yeah? So, um, what kind of food is popular? So, um, I must go in a minute as well, guys, but um, do you eat, for example, in Germany, lots of schnitzel and sausages and things like that? Is it similar in Hungary? <laughs> Pizza, cola, spaghetti. <laughs> okay, anything, anything, just lots of food. Anything special, special, special. Cutty cheese, cake. Okay, yeah, so lots of things like this. It sounds good. Uh, would you, we're running up time. Last question. Uh, what's the most popular food in Pakistan? Is it, um, is it curry and things like this? Because in the UK, curry is very, very popular. They say it's Indian curry, but actually the curry in the UK is more from Bangladesh and things. What do you eat in uh, Pakistan? Pakistan, biryani. With biryani, kebab. I love this. Yeah, the rice and things. Biryani. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Can you cook? Yeah, of course. I will try to uh, with my mom. Okay, so to it sounds sounds yeah. quite. My um old boss was an Indian man. His wife always used to cook um really nice food. Yeah, and it's amazing. You can't can't believe. And it seems to be quite important as well, guys. I have to go. We're going to continue. We didn't really get through the topics, but I thought that's um your contributions were very good, very very interesting. Yeah, so nice to hear. So take care. Um, how can I say Desvedanya? Um, who else? Uh, how do you say bye in Spanish? Adios. Yeah, adios. It's um, uh, Yeah, okay. So goodbye, take care, and hopefully speak to you again soon, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. Day. You too. Wait. <laughs>